Come here, boy. My beautiful son. It's his beautiful hair. Nah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do my outro. All right, bye. All right, bye. The man child. angels and welcome to today's video. That's right, it's that time again. Time for another Football Friday. Four teams remain and it's time to choose a team and do a makeup look inspired by those colors. So if you want to know what team is chosen and what look I come up with, keep on watching. All right, angels, four teams remain. Down to the wire, folks. Uh, I don't know what to do when we get down to one. If you've never seen one of these videos, uh, Google Home selects a number. I choose from these cards at random and do a makeup look inspired by the colors of that NFL team. Shit, without further ado, let's pick a team. Please choose a number from one to four. Your music to my ears. Okay, I'd be happy to. <laughs> You said the magic word. Four. Four. All right. So let's mix them up. One, two, three, and number four. Kansas City Chiefs. Red, yellow with an alternate color of white. Okay, I have a good idea for this one. I've had it for a while and been waiting for this team to come up. But of course, because I was waiting for it, it did not. The best red, of course, is gonna be from the Box of Crayons palette. It's fabulous. It also has a wonderful yellow, too. So I think these are going to be our colors for today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys all zoomed in and get my lids prepped and primed, and we're gonna start to apply some makeup. Right, angels, we are all zoomed in and my lids are ready to go. So what I have here is two pieces of tape from Curad and it's their latex free, so it's easy to peel. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a piece about yay big here and that's gonna go perpendicular to your under, your under eye. And this stays on the skin so good, better than scotch tape and it doesn't leave a residue because these types, that's what they're meant for. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start off with that red. And I'm gonna work that into the crease and just above and then fade it in with the yellow so it looks like, if you follow my Instagram, I did a look kind of like that. Uh, it, I called it Key Largo Sunset, it was really pretty. I'm gonna go into this Alamar and I'm just gonna go into this kind of butterscotchy kind of color. It's called Coco Taxi. Uh, this one is a Morphe M330 brush and I'm just going to, this is a neutral color so it's just going to help that red blend so much better. Transition color is important when you're working with colors that you really want to blend nicely. So laying down a transition color is going to allow all of your other colors to blend together so much better. I taught you about tapered blending brushes. They're for working in the crease and allowing the weight, the body of that brush to do the work almost for you. So lay it right in the crease and then work it in a circular motion to blend out that color. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go into the red from the box of crayons palette. So starting again in the crease, you can see how that neutral color just allowed this to blend so much better? Fabulous. I'm just working that into the crease and a little bit up. I'm just working that really into this area over the outer V portion of my eye and then into the crease and up. You can go into the yellow. And for this one, you're gonna be working on the lid, so you want a little bit more of a packing brush. This, more like a flat shader brush. And then pack that on the inner portion of my lid. So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna find a shimmery red to do on that outer V. 
I'm just packing that on. The NYX Ultimate has this red, which has a little bit of glittery to it. Maybe I'll just pack that on the outer V. Just to add a little voom, 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 voom to the outer V there. Pack that using a little small wet and wild brush on the outer V area. And then bringing it in with that yellow. So we're going to almost create a different color I'm using the red and the yellow, but I'm going to make almost an orange so it blends and makes this really pretty sunsetty kind of look. Mix a little bit of red and yellow together and kind of make my own little orangey shade there. Just showing it on the back of my hand here. And then I'm going to pack that into the center of the eye. This is going to be an all matte look. It's not going to have any shimmer other than that iridescent white. And I think I'm going to use that violet moss. Because I want to love that palette. And then what you do is get your MAC Fix Plus and just spray a little bit on your brush. Adding no more new product. And then pack that in there. Gently pat that on there, and that's going to make that yellow stay right where it is. I want another color to kind of deepen up that crease a little bit, BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to go into this tan color here in that box of crayons palette. I'm just going to work a little bit of that into the crease just to deepen it up just a little tiny bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other eye caught up to this one, and I will be right back. Right, angels, we are back, and I've got both eyes caught up to right where the, the, I want them to be. I added a little bit more brown just to define that crease a little bit, just to make that red really pop out a little bit more. And by using this tape, you see, once you take it off, you create a nice sharp edge, and it doesn't pull and grab at your eyes. That delicate skin around your eyes, which you have to be very careful with, ladies, please. That's what makes those lines and wrinkles on there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and zoom you out and get to applying the rest of my face. Be right back, angels. My full face of makeup is applied. Uh, I still have a little bit of the powder down here. It's that Laura Mercier because I want to just kind of let it bake and really carve out those cheekbones. So what I do is I leave it on there for about five, eight minutes and then I just buff it away. I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to get to doing the under eye. Right, angels you are all zoomed in uh, I'm gonna keep the under eye kind of simple I'm just going to recreate what I did on the top and put that on the bottom a little bit of red adjoining our little angle here and then yellow in the middle and then I'm gonna pop that white from the violet Voss into the inner corner so with that I'm going to start with very small brush I think I'm gonna use 
This is a Morphe M541 brush. And what I do with my brushes after I wash them, I put a little helpful hint for you to help them to keep their shape. Just put a hair tie around it and let it dry and then they keep their shape much better like that. You can take it off and fluff it out a little bit. But yeah, that's what I do with my brushes. So I'm gonna go back to the box of crayons palette and into the red and just like I said, take that on the under eye here. Starting at the outer corner and just almost like patting it, just fluffing it in there a little bit. Beach Cosmetics number eight brush and going into the yellow from the box of crayons palette and just starting at the inner corner and working that adjoining with the red. Just a little bit at a time at first. And then add some more as you want it more and more vibrant. And now I need a smaller brush to kind of stamp that inner corner color in there. It's just a little Ulta brand brush. Pearl, I think this is going to be the only shimmer on my entire face today. So going into this beautiful pearl color here, I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner and blend it in with the yellow. See how that kind of just makes it pop a little bit? You just pet it in the inner corner and then drag it in with the yellow there. Go ahead, find a cool lipstick and do something with these lashes and I'll be right back. Angels, I am back and this is the completed look. For the waterline, I did something a little different. I put a little white liner on the inner corner and on the outer V, I added some that had a little sparkle to it. As always, I will list every product that I use down in the description bar. Well, this look was a lot of fun to create. Like I said, I've kind of had this in mind for uh, Kansas City Chiefs who are killing it this year. I think all of my last four teams are doing like really, really well. Well, Angels, if you've watched this far, thank you so much. I really do appreciate every single view that I get. Also, don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media. I have Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Angels Makeup Mayhem. Do be an angel and click subscribe, then smash that notification bell so that you are notified every single time I upload a new video. All you angels should leave me a comment and a like, because I really love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching, Angels, and I'll see you in the next video. The City Chiefs are doing well this year too, I think. Hey Google, what's the Kansas City Chiefs record? The Chiefs are in first place in the AFC West with 11 wins and 3 losses for a winning percentage of 79%. 79%? I've sent the detailed standings to your phone. Why, thank you. No, <gasps> but there is that white that I love in here. That pearly white. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep, I just complicated things real, real bad. I hear lawnmowers, but they're so far away right now. I am fine with that. So what you don't see, the behind the scenes, is that it's been about half an hour, 45 minutes later, and they finally finished the yard work so I can get back to work. So let's recap. So we had the Chiefs, the Cowboys are having a great year, the Patriots not so good because my Steelers just beat them.